This is Asher Levins with AL Voice Media. Sample chapter of Get in the Door, written by Jerry T. Myers, read by Asher Levins of AL Voice Media. Chapter one. Book number one of the In the Door series. Get in the door. Seven keys to maximizing your career search. Imagine the possibilities that await you on the other side. Jerry T. Myers, MBA, Doc MPA. Legacy Key One. The new HR professional, you. Intelligence is the ability to adapt to change. Stephen Hawking. Human resource. HR professionals are overlooked and frustrated with the difficulty in finding the right candidate for open positions. I know most people think there are thousands of candidates in the labor pool to choose from. Yet, the right person for this specific job can be few and far between. HR leaders are constantly pulled in several directions in an organization and are often involved in business leadership decisions as well as strategic planning for talent development. In addition, they're usually on the phone completing new hire paperwork, updating employee benefits, or coordinating interview schedules. Another key in hiring is that the typical job search has become more challenging for both the HR manager and the job seeker due to increased competition on a national level. Many hiring managers are swamped because many cover a large region to fill 20 to 30 positions each month. On the flip side, if you live in a major metropolitan city, such as Atlanta, Chicago, Houston, Los Angeles, New York, or Washington, D.C., you are competing with job seekers across the country who are attracted to these popular areas in search of a new lifestyle. As a hiring manager, I clearly see the difference in candidates who think like an HR professional and those who don't. Keep in mind that a hiring manager may receive 5,000 resumes for five open positions. How will you stand out? Again, the key to being considered for an interview is to think like an HR manager. Now, with your new approach and thought process, you can pull out your resume to make the necessary fine tuning to get noticed. Number one, the first intentional thought to consider is to be very clear about the job you want. Your resume must be tailored for the specific job description. Don't be lazy and take a one-size-fits-all approach. If you have to create five resumes for CareerBuilder or Indeed.com, then do so. If you're like me and have varied work experience, multiple resumes are key. For example, I was a director of admission for a private school and the board president for a community organization. I created three resumes that highlighted, first, education management, second, sales management, and third, nonprofit leadership. Secondly, resumes are filtered through database using keywords. Hiring managers don't actually look at your resume initially. If you don't have enough keywords for the job posted, then a callback is highly unlikely. Therefore, if bilingual is a requirement and you are not bilingual, don't bother hitting the apply button. Third, companies aren't paying to train you like they did in my parents' generation. You need to demonstrate your skills and qualifications effectively. After you have a good match of keywords, the hiring manager should be able to clearly see that you can walk in the door and add immediate value to the company. Fourth, if you are fortunate to get a call back, make sure you go somewhere quiet where you can talk. Hiring managers are usually in a rush because they have more calls to make. If someone is talking to you and there is a lot of background noise or other distractions, you will not move on to the next round. 
By the way, don't tell him or her that you have to call them back unless you absolutely have to. There is a chance you will never get in touch with the person again. Be respectful of hiring manager's time, as it can only help you. The resume game. I come across thousands of resumes that scream, I don't know what I'm looking for, but please check this out and see if you have something for me. There are so many quote-unquote experts offering surefire ways to get your resume noticed. Many of you reading this book have probably tried several of them without much traction. If you play the resume game, well, you are bound to get callbacks. That's right. I view the resume process like a game of Monopoly. It involves both skill, strategy, and the luck of the role. At some point in our lives, we have all played Monopoly with hopes of being the last financial guru standing, sitting there gloating with your mound of cash, staring at perfectly aligned hotels on Boardwalk and Park Place. You feel an overwhelming sense of accomplishment. Yes, I did this. I'm a winner. Could you imagine playing Monopoly without knowing the rules? Not collecting $200 every time you pass go? That would be disastrous. Not only would you lose, you'd lose quickly. Well, today, the job market and resume rules have changed. And many of you will be sitting around the table on the losing end if you're not ready to make changes. I hope. I have convinced you by now that hiring managers are busy people. They want to know the specifics relating to the bottom line value that you will add to their organization. Consider a hiring manager's priority list. Number one, how will you make the company money? Number two, how will you save the company money? Number three, what past work experience do you have? to enhance the corporate culture. Fourth, do you fit the company culture from the organization's perspective? And fifth, what community experience do you possess that strengthens the company? If you can walk in the door on day one and fill these needs, then you're the winner. You are the answer to their problems. Hiring managers are looking for resumes that not only show you are qualified for the job opening posted, but that your skill sets are a very close match to what they need, both now and in the future. I've noticed in my discussions with potential candidates that they neglect the impact they made on their last company. One question I always ask is, how are you different? and more valuable as an employee today than you were six months ago. Make sure your resume shows your value and growth. Stacy, Stacy's legacy. Stacy worked in low government for several years, but believed she could add more value in the nonprofit arena. She mapped out a new job search plan as an executive director she came to my career seminar and needed assistance in narrowing down her three-page resume. Stacy literally received every award her city had to offer in her current position and displayed it on her resume. My goal was to highlight her essential executive director skills in a way that consolidated the non-essential responsibilities for her dream position. For instance, I highlighted her program management and staff and volunteer development experience. Purchase book online and wherever books are sold. Pre-order Get In The Door audiobook at www.inthedoornow.com. Please pre-order Get In The Door audiobook at www.getinthedoornow.com. Email Jerry T. Meyer staff for speaking engagements and event hostings at jerrymyers at inthedoornow.com. 
www.alvoicemedia.com.